drying bucket. This drying bucket, the water, the H2O, the water, evaporates out inside of here. So all of the water evaporates out and turns into gaseous form, and then actually it pulled down through the reaction bed. So then once it's dry, once it's in here and it's dry, then the auger pushes the wood in. And then the wood comes in, so everyone comes around. Then the wood chips come in. This is that paddle switch. It's when it's vertical down, the auger's on, so it feeds it more until it depresses it backwards. And then it turns turns the auger off, so then the auger stops spinning. It just just leave that, it turns off. So as you can see here, there's that paddle. So everyone wants to come look. There's the paddle switch, which maintains the reactor being full. Use the control of the auger, which feeds it. So in here, which extends down to about there, this the interior of this extends down to about there, this is where all the pyrolysis is happening. At least about 90, 95% of the pyrolysis is happening. Okay, this is the drying bucket and then pyrolysis. So then the biomass, the wood chips, comes down and then right here is the constriction. So it comes down here and then there's air nozzles for air to come in so that the oxidative combustion happens right here. It's what it consumes about 20% of your fuel and it turns the rest, well the rest is then turned up here into long chain hydrocarbons. So you consume 20% predominantly hydrogen um, and some of it makes some of your CO2 as well. Um, and some of your carbon. And so that's right where the constriction happens. So the air comes in, combusts about 20%, and then as it comes down, it spreads out, and that's where the, all the molten embers are, that molten carbon is. And so that's where the reduction zone is. So the reduction zone goes down to where the metal grate is, which is connected to this right here. This shakes the grate in order to let the ash fall through. And then the ash collects down underneath while the gas progresses upwards. The gas progresses upwards around the side where the air comes in right here and swirls around in the outside jacket. And so then the gas comes up around the outside and comes out right here, coming into the cyclone. So the cyclone, we collect the fine ash particles. That's the very small ash particles. Large ash particles are all collected in the bottom here. So this is the door that you have to open in order to clean it out, in order to clean the bio biochar out. So the fine ash particles collect in the bottom of the mason jar, whereas the gas, the gas goes upwards and it comes up and it goes into the drying bucket. And so then it transfers the heat in, transfers the heat into the chips and runs all the drying process on that heat. And then it's also cooling the gas. And so the gas comes in, so it starts here, it warms up to about 200, 300 degrees Celsius, the, the chips do, it evaporates the water out. Then it comes into here, where it goes from about four, four to 600 degrees Celsius, right in the combustion zone, it's 800 degrees Celsius. Reduction zone, about 700 degrees Celsius, 7 to 800 degrees Celsius. And then as the gas comes up, the gas goes from being about 800 to 800 to 900 degrees Celsius. And it's coming up the side, it's transferring that energy into the air line. And so it's dropping down to about 700 degrees Celsius. When it enters into the cyclone, and then it was, when it's leaving the cyclone, it's about like 650, 650 degrees Celsius. And then it enters into the drying bucket. By the time it leaves the drying bucket, it's about 120 degrees, 130 degrees Celsius here. As it's coming down, out, so it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. And then it comes out, it's about 120, 130 degrees Celsius. And then as it enters into the filter, it's right at about 100 degrees Celsius. So as it comes up 
progresses up through the filter and through the biomass, it cools to about 30 degrees Celsius. And so all of the water is condensing and whatever soot and tars are left in there are also condensing onto the wood chips as it's passing through the wood chips, the biomass. So then at 30 degrees Celsius, it comes in and then it goes and it mixes with air. So there's a servo, an air servo, it's a butterfly valve. And so this mixes with the gas before coming in and being controlled by the throttle. The throttle. So which is controlled by the governor. And the governor is connected to the magnetic pickup, which tells us the RPM of the engine, the rate that the engine is spinning, which is, has to maintain at 3,000 RPM in order to maintain the voltage at 240 volts. Um, and so this will open or close accordingly in order to make sure it maintains the right RPM in order to maintain your voltage. Your air is controlled by the board, which has an oxygen sensor. So everyone comes around, you can see an oxygen sensor in the exhaust. So the exhaust from the engine goes up, transferring its energy into the pyrocoil. So it's actually running a lot of our pyrolysis for us without consuming any fuel. It's just utilizing the energy, waste energy, the entropy from the engine in order to run the pyrolysis process. But in order to make sure we're running right at stoic, at stoichiometric proportions of air to fuel, we have an oxygen sensor. So then that oxygen sensor gives a reading back to the board, which gives us which goes to this air to fuel ratio, which then tells us if we're operating at stoichiometric proportions or not. So this is actually a, a very common system for when you're racing cars. You're, you want to make sure you're running right at stoic, like you get the most power out. Um, so a lot of car systems utilize oxygen sensors um, in order to make sure you're running right at stoic. So that's what we're using. And this controls the air, which controls the mixing, and then the governor controls the RPM of the engine to make sure you're getting the right voltage out, right amount of energy out. So when you put more tax on the end, you put more electricity coming off, that increases the resistance. And so that's going to slow your engine down. And so this reads that it's slowing down, and it opens the throttle up automatically, which automatically puts, it's self-regulating. So it puts more vacuum on the line here and on your reactor. So it's going to put more air in according to the amount of energy you have out to maintain the right voltage and give you the right amount of energy, as much energy as you're drawing. And so it'll burn your fuel faster and make more gas and to run the engine faster, or to run the engine at the same speed, but to give you more energy. So it's all self-regulated. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't mm -hmm. add gas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. okay. No, no yeah. adding gas now. Yeah. It's, it's hot. It's very hot. Okay. So, if you want it, I mean, since it's that hot, you don't even have to open this port. Yeah. If you're hot, no, open. You don't. You, yeah, you don't even have to. You can just turn the fans on. So turn the gas fan on. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Turn it up. Maximum or about maximum. two thirds. Two Two thirds. Oh no! Actually, wait. Turn it off. This is still closed. Oh, yeah. so there's yeah. no yeah. pressure. Yeah. So open this first. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's open good. Open it all the way. Lagi, lagi, lagi. Oh, cross, pull, pull. Pull is maximum. Pull, 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 pull. Pull. Now, now turn the gas on. About yeah, a little bit more. Dua pull. Yeah, dua pull. That's good. Nunggu. So, so now you have your gas coming through, yeah. going up to the top. Mm -hmm. So now add a little bit of air. Turn your air. Yeah, yeah turn your air about halfway up. So what is it? What is it they're trying to achieve here, Taiwan? Yeah, well, you just want to have the combustion. Seven hundred, seven hundred. Nungu. So this is not necessarily about the numbers. It's about the combustion on this point. Yeah. Oh, well, since it's already hot, right? You can turn up the fans even higher. So now you turn the gas fan all the way up. So turn the gas all the way up. All the way. Penuh, Mbak. Penuh. Penuh, Yeah. See, because that's the point. 
Yes. Udah. 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 Panas, Pak. Panas, Pak. Ini muter. Muter. Demo, Pak. Ini lah. Ini masak. 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 Ini It's going ambient air, pushing it in. Yeah. yeah, and the gas, when you do the gas nozzle, it's this one. Forcing in here. When you open this, push it back.